Welcome back everyone to our next webinar. Now I'm really eager to introduce to you Luisa Macchion from Forec and she will talk to you a little bit about tire recycling um, and what are the innovations in the next years, what have they already done and what they can do in that direction. She prepared a little presentation for you. Have fun, see you afterwards. And of course, head over to the booth, get in contact with them, have fun, see you afterwards. So welcome everybody. Uh, welcome mainly to the audience given by EREC uh, uh, virtual exhibition. We are very happy to have you here. Uh, today, Forec is going to speak about uh, tires recycling with its innovation and performance. So the speaker uh, today will be me, of course. My name is Luisa Macchion. I'm the marketing manager of Forec. And uh, together with me, Mr. Marco Zoccarato is the CEO and the general manager. So Marco, please introduce your part. Welcome everybody. I'm glad to have you here today and talk uh, a little bit about our company. Today's agenda will be um, a state of the art of the company. So uh, we're not speaking only about who Forex is, but exactly the point of our business, uh, the, yes, of course, the state of the art. And then uh, uh, the reason why you are connected to this webinar is the tires recycling system. So we will speak about our technology, our innovation, and our case histories, of course, in order to give you uh, a real and concrete um, idea of uh, what we do and where. So now I leave the word to Mr. Zoccarato, uh, who will speak about Forex. Before going through the interesting things and the technical part of the presentation, I would like to share with you the satisfaction concerning the growing of Forex and the success of Forex, despite, uh, unfortunately, the COVID situation. Uh, this growing uh, certifies that the philosophy that we apply on the market is the right way to achieve great target. As you know, uh, we are a company absolutely customer oriented. We pay great attention to after sales service and all our installation and machines are as unique as uh, DNA strengths. This means that uh, we work and we match our skill with the knowledge of the customer in order to make some kind of tailor-made project with the goal to realize the perfect system to solve the recycling issue that our customer has. I like to use a couple of letters, the R and the E. Re as recycling, that is our core business and our mission. Forec was born with the ambitious purpose to give new life to everyday produced scraps with a hand to preserve the environment. And he has a relationship. We are absolutely sure that a great project is a result of a great relationship between supplier and customer. That's why in Forec, we are a team of professionals who pay careful attention to meet customer expectation in terms of reliability, performance, and operation costs. And then, you know, we are Italian and for us, the relationship is really important. We use to forge strong and lasting partnership. Uh, re as research, because behind a good realization behind a good installation, there are hours and hours of research and design of reliable systems from our engineers who are supported by a database of statistics on performance. We also share innovative ideas with a network of technological partners and we look for a continuous update of regulations and market trends. Uh, we commit all our efforts to achieve the best result. We as uh, realized because uh, uh, every project needs to become a perfect installation to process any kind of waste. Realization also because we need to work on tailor-made solutions 
something like a custom design fingerprint to meet customers' needs. Our team develops and realizes turnkey systems for solid waste disposal and recycling, putting in the strong and continuous effort in research. Last but not least is Reactive. Uh, because we are a fast moving company in terms of answer, in terms of support to our customers. We supply any kind of parts needed all around the world, supported by around 2,000 square meters of spare part warehouse and stock. 10 teams of intervention, call centers and remote assistance we use to assist the customer from the beginning and an accurate consultancy matching together the experience of our partner with ours. Now have a look to the following video, uh, which better explain why we are always a step forward with you. Enjoy the video and the link to the last part of the video. I would like to give you an overview of our main products because, of course, we produce complete system, turnkey system, tailor made projects, but each plant is composed by different kinds of machines. We have about 60 different models in our range of products, starting from the two shaft shredder, going through the four shaft shredder, rotary shading machine. A multi crusher, maybe used in uh, uh, municipal solid waste, single shaft shredder, granulators, mainly for plastic recycling, uh, compact arm armor mill, uh, dedicated uh, uh, overall in the metal scrap uh, processing. So these machines are, as a result, useful for different applications, uh, for example, waste to an energy project tire recycling project, the scrap. And uh, when you talk about the scrap, you know, we, we are referring to a very large sector in, ten, in terms of electronics, starting from refrigerators, that is very, very uh, high technology systems, uh, 
um, household washing machines and uh, going through them to a dedicated system for ferrules and no ferrules uh, uh, treatment the processing here. Uh, we are also involved in a lot of project uh, in plastics uh, recycling and also in the uh, copper and wire, wire and electronic motors uh, for <clears throat> copper recovery, of course. So finally, just to summarize and go to the technical part, I would like to share with you these six characteristics that say why fabric. F as fidelity, O as openness, R as research and development, R as reply, E as environmental friendly, C as customized, customized oriented, of course. So now uh, Luisa continues talking about uh, tire recycling. I thank you a lot for your attention and uh, I really hope to see you soon in person and I wish you good luck to all of you. Goodbye. Okay, thanks Marco. Uh, thanks for your presentation. So now we go on with uh, uh, the reason for this uh, webinar, which is uh, the tires recycling uh, uh, system. Uh, as Marco informed you, so Forex is manufacturer of single machine and also complete installi installations for the treatment of tires. But uh, to start speaking of tires, we would like to define which kind of tires uh, we are speaking about. The most common scraps are car tires, truck, and pre-cut damper truck tires. Okay, so when a tire no longer has the indispensable characteristics for safe and efficient, efficient performance on a vehicle, even through retrieving, it becomes out of use. So it becomes a waste. It must therefore be collected for recovery and recycling, which takes place in special plants. The rubber from which the tire is made up, in fact, is a mixture of uh, very high quality polymers uh, with exceptional chemical and physical characteristics uh, that remain unaltered even in recycled rubber obtained from it. So end of life tires can be sent towards two alternative options, which is first of all, recycling uh, from which uh, new materials such as rubber, steel and textile fibers are obtained or recovered as energy in uh, an ad hoc plants, uh, which are mainly cement factories. ELT, which means uh, exactly end of life tires, in fact, have a calorific power equal to that of coal, but with much lower climate altering emissions. Uh, for material recycling, the ELT are sent to special plants that, through mechanical grinding, reduce them into smaller and smaller fragments until the three components of the tires are separated. So rubber, steel, and textile fibers. So, the treatment of end-of-life tires has always been a problem for all the areas in the world. So from the most industrialized area, where the presence of many vehicles causes a large quantity of waste, to the most remote areas, where unfortunately, this type of hazardous waste is stored in the vast abandoned areas with harmful consequences for the environment. As you can see in this picture, often these uh, uh, wastes are cause of fires. And uh, this, is also, this has also some uh, important consequences for the health of the people, because such an area is ideal environment for the proliferation of diseases and pests. So now let's speak about uh, Forex projects uh, and uh, Forex and the treatment of uh, uh, end of life tires. So Forex, as we told you, produces single machines and complete system for the treatment of any type of solid urban and industrial waste. 
and for almost 15 years has been present on the market with reliable and effective solutions. Forex complete system allowed to obtain a rubber granule with a size between 0.8 and 4 millimeter. And with this recycled rubber, um, innovative and eco-sustainable products are made. These products find application in sectors that are very different uh, one from each other, from the other. So from products for the building industry, such as acoustic insulation and vibration damping, to sports with playgrounds, soccer pitches, multi-purpose sports flooring, and products for animal welfare, for instance. There are also the sector of roads and infrastructures, where alongside modified silent and durable asphalts, we find uh, cycle paths, uh, street furniture, and elements uh, for road safety. So the panorama is completed also by design products. Uh, so some objects uh, and new compounds uh, made by combining recycled rubber and thermoplastics material. So various treatment lines of this type uh, have been installed by Forex in different areas of the world and are currently operational. Over time, however, it has been noticed that the supply of granules of this size is much higher than the demand. And sometimes the market value does not justify the investment for this reason, and especially in some specific geographical areas, project aimed at using a shredded rubber granule reduced to a size that can be used by some plants as a high yield fuel, given the calorific value of the rubber, are underway. So the energy recovery of ELT, in fact, is a fun fundamental component for ensuring 100% of the virtuous cycle, cycle of ELT recovery. So this process starts with a volume reduction. So the primary shredder, Forex primary shredder, is the right machine for this. Primary shredder is an efficient and robust industrial counter-rotating shredder designed for effective performance during the treatment that involves a reduction in volume and shredding of materials with a partial control of output size. This is designed to achieve high torque and this machine operates with low RPM, so revolution per minute, and therefore feature very low consumption. The shredder blades are made of special steel, sometimes uh, with screw cutting sectors, and ensure long life cycle and reduce maintenance. As you can see here, there is a plant. This is one of our plants uh, um, that we have recently installed in Abu Dhabi. And the title of this slide is Tile Derived Fuel. So the term TDF, so Tile Derived Fuel, is used to indicate tile fuel. So uh, the energy recovery from uh, ELT, so the, from uh, end of life tires, uh, derived materials is mainly carried out in cement factories whose high operating temperatures ensure compliance with emission limits and allow to make the most of the high calorific value of rubber, which is comparable to that of pet coke. Moreover, the use of this process allows to recover combustion residues, ashes and steel as materials which are incorporated into the finished product, thus avoiding the use of further virgin raw materials with, of course, environmental and economic benefits for companies and also for the community. In order to, uh, to obtain a very good uh, tire derived fuel, Forex has designed, projected, uh, produced and also installed and now is operative, the new TX1600. And also, of course, speaking of WTE, so waste to energy, 
the most delicate phases is that of primary shredding of the product of TDF. And this treatment requires, in fact, that the output product be of well-defined dimensions and with the characteristic of a clean cut and not frayed. So considering the importance of this waste, Forex has developed the TX1600 shredder with the aim uh, of meeting the specific requirements of this uh, market segment without, of course, neglecting the productivity as keeping, and keeping the, an eye on the relationship with the production costs. So now we have here a, a data, which is uh, uh, the dimension of the output material, which uh, is to fi from 50 to 80 millimeters. And here is as an example of the clean cut uh, uh, material. So the clean cut uh, is very, very important in this moment. So the TX1600 has a very sturdy structure. Um, two motors of 132 kilowatt each. Um, an easy way to replace the cutting plate. So there are cutting plates and not um, single blades. Uh, there are some guiding shafts on the, on the cutting chamber, which uh, used to help the tires entering the uh, cutting area. The input capacity is uh, up to eight tons per hour, and this is a very uh, great uh, uh, result that we, reach, we achieved. The output dimension, as I told you, from 50 to 80 millimeter. And as we said before, this is the perfect product for the cement factories. So the machine has been specifically designed for the so-called clean cut, which means, uh, as uh, we told you before, a shredded material with a defined dimension and without frayed steel wire. This frayed steel wire means uh, really difficulties to process the scrap uh, inside the cement furnace. That's why the clean cut uh, is uh, uh, a, a great goal that we achieved uh, with this uh, machine. So here is a short video for the line we have recently installed in Abu Dhabi. Um, so the customer was interested in getting a clean cut material. So please take a look at the video. So just to summarize what we have seen till now. So this is a simplified representation of the line, which starts, as already explained, with the primary shredder to have a rough cutting of the tires. Uh, for the complete line, we do not need perfect clean cut and the calibration of the output material, but a simple volume reduction is enough to be further processed by a secondary shredder, a grinder which is a single shaft with a sieve underneath to define the output size of 20 to 25 millimeters. The line continues with the granulation. Uh, so we use a fast turning milling machine with a sieve in order to obtain a crumb rubber of dimension inferior to four millimeter. Uh, the process does not end uh, uh, with the shredding, of course, but we have, uh, we have designed a system to collect uh, all the dusts and textile left during the process. So different points for the separation of the metal fraction and the final collection of uh, secondary raw material. This installation is an example. Of course, uh, this is a system to process uh, three tons per hour. But Forec, uh, um, as we said before, used to tailor made uh, these his machines and installation according to customer requests. So uh, 
this is this is one uh, example, but we have complete installation, for instance, for the treatment of tires to process two, three, five tons per hour, six. So, but we do not uh, fix uh, a limit uh, to our potentialities. So this is an anticipation of uh, our case histories. Uh, this is an installation working in Belarus, a company including a technological park for the treatment of waste in Minsk, that has chosen us, has chosen Forec for the supply of a complete line for the treatment of tires initially. This line uh, can process uh, six tons per hour. And then they completed their technological park uh, with uh, a refrigerator's treatment line and a uh, scrap uh, treatment line. So uh, just to summarize uh, how a big uh, um, structure for the recycling uh, can be done. On the right, you can see the crumb rubber they get uh, from the installation. Actually, uh, we used to have three different dimensions in output, a dust, which was almost a pulverized crumb rubber, uh, a second output from one to two millimeter, and the last one from two to four. So C is believing, uh, uh, just to inform you that uh, our installation are real and our customers too, we can show, of course, uh, you our technology in action, uh, both uh, by our premises, so we have a testing area uh, with the possibility to do uh, some in-house tests uh, with your own product. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes we have some warm and hospitable customer who are using Forex uh, machines that allow us to test uh, or to see uh, their uh, activity from inside. Uh, on our website and on our YouTube channel, you can have uh, a clear overview of our plants and uh, the machines produced by Forec. So at the end of this uh, webinar, we will give you all the details uh, and our link in order to see our production. So as I promised at the beginning, some case histories. Uh, these are installations which are placed all over the world. Uh, this is, a, for instance, a system for the um, TDF, so, um, the argument we, we dealt with before. So this is uh, uh, an installation for the generation of value from tires. So they produce uh, uh, cut the tires to uh, produce energy to, go, to be sent to the cement factory. Uh, this is uh, our uh, secondary shredder, which is a grinder. Um, the name of this machine is MR. And this is the output material that it gives, uh, which is, uh, it gives, which is uh, uh, shredded tires of about a, a, a medium dimension of 20 to 30 millimeters. Uh, in this uh, state, uh, uh, there is uh, textile and uh, metal fraction inside, but uh, um, with the uh, following steps of the installation, these uh, um, scraps are uh, separated from the tire, from the rubber. This is another example of uh, tire-derived fuel uh, installation. And these are three uh, steps of the complete installation. So in the first uh, part, you can see um, some screw conveyors, uh, suction system, pneumatic transportation, uh, all the system uh, which are useful for the separation of uh, textile and uh, metal scraps, uh, metal uh, fraction from the rubber. Uh, and also the three dimensions that are, um, that are in the output of the installation. So at the end of the webinar, uh, we kindly invite you to visit our website, uh, to uh, subscribe, of course, our newsletter in order to be updated uh, to, uh, concerning our news. And uh, uh, we kindly ask you to get in touch with us uh, for any requests of uh, 
linked to the recycling sector. We are at your complete uh, disposal. So just to close, uh, profit is not a dirty word. I think that we have yeah. understand uh, this uh, from the whole uh, webinar. And uh, this is uh, our uh, motto. So a step forward with you, because uh, we would like to confirm that we are always uh, next to our uh, customer in order to help them and assist them in getting the best solution for their um, recycling experience and issues. So thank you very much. And uh, let ho let's hope to see you very soon, uh, maybe in person. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, Luisa, thank you so much for that presentation. You can turn on your video now. We should be able to see you in person right now. Yes, perfect. Hello, everybody. So good to have you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, we've okay. got a few questions coming in and I would mm -hmm. love to ask these to you. One of them is um, are you, whether you are working on a way to recycle the tire material into new products instead of incinerating it. So to get really to a circular economy where it's not thermic recycling of the tires, but maybe at some point even new tires from old tires. So this is something which is not so common, not, not for the moment. Actually, the uh, crumb rubber is not used to produce new tires, but it's only used to, to produce uh, very small tires uh, used for um, elevating machine. So big, strong tires uh, and very small. Because the, once the, <clears throat> the, the rubber has been uh, modified, uh, uh, it's difficult to uh, return to the origin of the rubber. That's why this scrub rubber is used uh, together with some raisins, uh, glues, uh, which keep it together, and it is used for the production of new items. Uh, sometimes the scrub rubber used, is used for the production of uh, bitumen for the um, streets uh, pavementation. That's why it's very important to be able to, to to reach these dimensions that's why thank you so much yeah right. here comes a pretty specific question from uh leonard and i would i would like to ask this to you and that's it's about right. the material size after pre-shredding so he says in the footage it looks like the tires are already pre-cut and dewired in the first pl place um does this set up also uh, process up to the eight tons per hour with normal used tires or is, is there a difference? What, what kind of input material do, do you need? So uh, we, we used to, to put oh, yeah. both uh, complete entire tires and also uh, pre-shredded tires. Let's say that uh, for the line to get the waste to energy material, that is to say the um, uh, the, the shredded material up to 50 to 80 millimeters that is used especially and only for the waste to energy so for the cement factories to be burned let's out. say uh, while uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the other line oh, is used so for a complete treatment to get the small crumb rubber that's why. So I don't know if it's, yeah, it's that this was the, the question. So. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. I yeah. think so. So uh, that that is also the the product size needed for the the pyrolytic process afterwards. If I understand that correctly. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you yeah. so much, Leonard. I hope that that answers your question. Mm -hmm. and Otherwise, next you one. can write me on uh, yeah, yeah. If, on if, our if, email address. If you need anything further, please yeah. head over. Yeah, you can either head over to the booth or write to Luisa via email and she will get in contact with yes, of you. Course. And mm -hmm. here comes another question from Giorgio. He's, uh, yeah, ah, he has experience in textiles and uh, rubber mixed with 
textiles and wanted to, uh, to know if you have a solution uh, for the textile fraction as well. No, actually no. It is sent to damp because uh, it's uh, a dangerous um, waste which has no application for the moment. So some, some companies are trying to find a, a way to reduce uh, such uh, difficult uh, particular, but for the moment it's sent to the damp. So it's a cost, uh, the only cost of the line. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for, for the honesty at that point. Yeah. And okay. yeah, there's, there's, there's always potential for innovation in, uh, yeah. in what we do, I believe. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, one, one last question. Um, maybe, you can, uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the whole profitability. You, you said it in the end, profit is not a dirty word. Yeah. Um, so what are, what are the ma main steps here, you said it right now, the, the upcycling or, or re real recycling into a circular economy is not really doable, but um, what, what are the steps we can take right now to be, uh, to be good, good to our, uh, how, do you, our surrounding, to the, uh, how do you say, to the planet uh, and recycle, but still have it profitable? What are the, the steps you would take at that point? So we are working every day on new projects uh, uh, concerning the circular economy, concerning the, uh, let's say, first of all, to find a friendly, um, environmental friendly solution to help the, the country, to, to help the, the, the world to, to be cleaner, okay? Uh, we are working on different kinds of wastes uh, from municipal solid waste, uh, so every day, uh, produce the waste from every people in the world, but also we are dealing with uh, uh, dangerous uh, uh, um, waste such as refrigerators, electronic waste, uh, medical waste, plastics. So uh, we are in these last days we are testing some machines for the uh, solar panels because uh, this is also a new waste which is uh, very important to be treated so um, we are always open to and, uh, and our search and development office is always open to uh, new uh, challenges and uh, with the experience maturated in this years uh, we are also able to test to try to to find the best solution for our uh, for the new requests yeah well, perfect. Thank you so much for these insights, Luisa. And I think that's that's it for now. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact Luisa directly. You can find uh, the contact information again on the booth or you just head over to the website forec.eu uh, at booth. As I know, there's also the live chat enabled so you can directly put an instant message through to Luisa. She will be waiting for you or one of her colleagues. And well, Luisa, thank, thank you for being with us again here for EREC. It was really nice having you. Thank you for all the insights in your presentation. And please, do you have any last words you want to share with the participants? Okay, thank you, Felix. And thank you all the participants. Uh, we wait to see you also in our booth, the virtual booth, uh, and there we can reply to all your questions anytime, and also in our uh, website. You can see also our YouTube uh, channel. There are some videos of our installation working, and uh, of course, uh, we're here to reply to your uh, requests anytime. Good. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Please. I uh, am waiting for you to see you in our next webinar. In five minutes, we start with Etu Latikainen from Crossrep. We will talk a little bit about clean waste handling, storage and export. And yeah, I'm okay. really eager to see you again. Luisa, thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. Have a nice thank day. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.